Hey guys, welcome to another Rider Tube show, the show where we talk about stuff, mainly reef tank aquariums, since that's what you guys dig, and guitars. I'll play for you once in a while. Today's show is going to be tips and tricks from our viewers. Uh, I had another show planned, but something got in the way. I went to the doctor for a sinus infection, which I'm on meds for now, and while I was there, I complained of chest pain, they ran an EKG, and immediately rushed me to the ER. Apparently there was some heart issue going on, and I'm fine, but a couple doctors and a nurse in the ER were nervous. Um, one of the head doctors in the ER gave me a, a thorough test and blood work and whatever, I'm fine. Unfortunately, the Joker never showed up. I was kind of hoping for that, but he never did. Do I look like a guy with a plan? I'm like a dog chasing cars. Jeff writes, <clears throat> love the videos. I watched the video about vacuuming the gravel and was blown away by the idea. It was pretty kick-ass. I could not wait to try it out and did the next day. It worked great and I plan on doing it for the next two weeks. Thank you for the info. Anyway, I started noticing what appeared to be ick on my hippo tang the other day and came across your videos on YouTube. I didn't want to buy any garlic crap from the fish store and remembered I had some Super Viragon V-I-R-A-G-O-N left over from the last time I started feeling sick. It is super concentrated and I added just two drops to some pellets. After feeding for just two days, it appears that the ick is gone. But I do realize that it may not be and could come back and kill all my fish. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes and just thought you might be interested. And no, I'm not trying to sell this product, LOL. Well, <clears throat> Jeff, that's awesome. And as I responded to you in an email, that's great. What I would still do is, of course, as I said, to you quarantine all your fish and that product the Viragon Viragon if you want to use it in the quarantine tank while your fish are being secured in the copper that's awesome that's what I would do I wouldn't just use the Viragon in your tank for two reasons because we don't know what it will do to your display tank but more importantly you got to get your fish out of that tank and quarantine them get them away from the parasite for six weeks minimum get them out of there all fish out of there uh, the reason for that is your tank, the parasites in the tank will starve because there's no fish in there. So I would use that Viragon to feed your fish while in the separate tank, the quarantine tank. What are you doing down here? You have to be quiet. So what I'm going to do to make this more of a community thing is when I record my podcast, I'm going to have you guys watch me and you can chat with me and ask questions and uh, we can do the show like that. You don't have to show up. If you don't show up, I'm going to record the podcast anyway. Hey, looks like we got a voicemail from Vera. It's time for Vera Mayo. Hey, Roder. This is Scott Anderson, the Mile High Reaper. Just watched your video on dosing sugar to your tank to eliminate nitrate. And that sounds really cool. I'm really interested in this. Um, I see a lot of people that do vodka, but, you know, a lot of people can't have vodka around the house. And bio pellets are cool, but they're a little expensive to get started. So I think this idea is really neat, man. So... Keep the videos coming, like what you got, and I'd really like to see how you progress with this method. Thanks again. Your videos are awesome. Scott, thank you so much for your voicemail and your kind words. I really appreciate it. For those of you who don't know, and you wouldn't because I never told you, but I'm about to, Scott is the reason why my tank is ick free. When I didn't know what the hell was going on, I did a YouTube search like a lot of you did, and I found answers on his channel. I tried a couple things, and it worked. So that inspired me to post everything that I've learned and researched on ick and how to kill it on my channel. But anyway, on the sugar dosing, yes, I'm probably at 20, a reading of 20, sugar dosing. Check out my other channel on how to lower nitrates in your tank by using table sugar. Yes, the kind that you use in your coffee. I was at 30, now I'm at 20. 
I have not been dosing every day like some people who have been experimenting with this have done. I'm dosing every other day. I'm going to start dosing every day now so that I would expect, hopefully, nitrate should be by, I don't know, 10 by the end of the week. I will keep you guys posted. Alright guys, thank you very much for subscribing. I know I've said that before, but I really mean it. I never thought I would get past 200 hits, and now I'm at 210. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, because there's a lot of damn cat videos out of there trying to take control and take over. They're not going to take over the Rider crew. However, um, you guys, I really appreciate you being part of the crew. Please comment and subscribe. Help each other out. This channel isn't here just for me. It's here for you. And I'm just like the central hub, if you will. Alright? So take care. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoy the show. Have a great Easter. And I'll see you next weekend. Do I look like a guy with a plan? Do I look like a guy with a plan?